Hey, so this is Matt from Triple Threat Productions. This is going to be the first in what I hope to be many Final Cut Pro tutorials. By the end of it, you guys will be able to create pretty much exactly the same kind of stuff we're creating and take it in farther directions and hopefully do better. This is Final Cut Pro X. If you're used to Final Cut Pro 7 or other editing software such as Adobe Premiere or Avid Media Composer, it might look a little weird and could be a little frustrating because it operates a little bit differently. If you're completely new to it altogether, then chances are you have no idea what you're looking at and it all seems pretty foreign and complicated. Don't get stressed out by that. Like anything, learning progress occurs exponentially, so it'll seem slow at first and then you'll start to pick up things really quickly and you can pump out creative projects pretty quickly. So what you're looking at is in the left corner over here is called the event library. And that is where Final Cut Pro stores something called events, which are essentially folders you're going to store all of your footage and files associated with a project, such as music or audio or additional graphics. They're all going to be imported into these things called events which are right over here. Right next to that, you have the event browser. That is where your clips will appear once you import them. And to the right of that is the canvas. The canvas is pretty much where all the action takes place, where you're going to see your video being played. And to the right of that is the inspector window, which gives you information on your video, and audio, it tells you file formats, and um, that's where you're going to see certain effects, like you'll do color correction there, and be able to transform your video and crop things out, distort it. So a lot of the detailed stuff is going to go on in there, which you can hide or unhide by clicking the eye. Below all that, in the middle of the screen, you have the toolbar. This is where you find tools you're going to use, such as you know, the selection tool, the trim tool, position, you know, zooming, and um, also you have the time code information. Below that you have the project library, which is what you're going to see before you've created any sort of projects, and that is where Final Cut organizes all of your projects. To the right of that is what's called the effects browser, and that gives you effects allows you to import photos from iPhoto or music from iTunes. There's also transitions, titling, backgrounds, and what they call themes, which are like little intros and outros. And this is basically where you're going to find everything like, you know, dissolves and blur effects, different lighting things. And I have a bunch of plugins that don't come with the program, but there's plenty of stuff that comes with the program that allow you to do pretty much everything you'll want to do starting out. To the right of that you have audio meters which are hidden by default and you can hide or unhide by pressing shift command 8. There's plenty of more stuff that you can hide or unhide and I'll go into detail on a lot more later. For now that's the basics of the user interface and I will explain everything in more detail in further tutorials.